On February 25, 2008, the Comptroller General of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, in clear violation of the Constitution, banned 400 Venezuelan citizens from seeking public office through the electoral process. For the first time in the country's history, a representative of the so-called citizen power branch of government directly sanctioned public officials without a court order. With 10 months to go before hotly contested state and municipal elections, Comptroller General Clodosvaldo Rusian simply decided to disappear 400 citizens from Venezuela's political map. The great majority of those affected were public officials who actively opposed the Chavez regime, who enjoyed widespread public support. They were found guilty of alleged offenses and banned from running for office without ever having set foot in a courtroom. In 2008 was an election year in Venezuela. On November 23rd, the voters turned out to elect their mayors and governors throughout the country. The campaign had begun in earnest many months before election day. Pro-government campaign advertising took on the proportions of a tidal wave. Venezuelans could clearly see that this would be yet another campaign season where the government would stop at nothing to win. The pro-regime candidates and President Chavez himself, in clear violation of the law, were once again using every government resource available to campaign, while the Elections Commission looked the other way. It looked like a long, uphill fight for opposition candidates. Despite the uneven playing field, you could feel the optimism in the opposition ranks. Polls were showing that thanks to years of hard work, opposition candidates would probably pull off some significant election night victories. These included the Caracas mayoralty and the governorships of Miranda, Táchira, Zulia, Anzoátegui, and Carabobo states. But on February 25, 2008, a clearly unconstitutional administrative measure stacked the deck for good against free and fair elections in Venezuela. The government had discovered a new instrument of political discrimination, the ban against running for public office. Comptroller General Clodosvaldo Rusian delivered a list to the National Elections Council, which contained the names of 400 public officials who were summarily banned from running for public office, with no court order or process of appeal possible. These citizens were subjected to a monumental travesty of justice because they were denied the basic rights of due process and defense in a court of law. This measure dealt a terrible blow to the hopes of those who fought for justice in this country, while marking a new chapter in the history of a people who are struggling to keep alive the flame of democracy in today's Venezuela. Nuestro esfuerzo eh, nos llevó a recorrer todas las instituciones en Venezuela, la Contraloría, la Asamblea, llegamos incluso al Tribunal Supremo de Justicia. Y nunca hubo una sentencia definitivamente firme sobre nuestro caso. Ya quedamos como en el limbo. Quedamos como que estábamos inhabilitados, pero a la vez no había ninguna sentencia firme con respecto a nuestro caso. Those banned from running for public office sought redress before each and every relevant government entity possible. The Office of the Comptroller, the Ombudsman, the National Elections Commission, and the judicial system. Their petitions went unanswered. They took their cases to the Constitutional Chamber of the Supreme Court. They cited Article 42 of the Constitution, where it says that the exercise of citizenship or any political rights can be suspended only by final judicial decision in the cases provided by law. They claimed the Comptroller's Office had exceeded its administrative mandate and in so doing had violated the Constitution. Le pudimos ver la cara y ver los ojos, los ojos de la indignidad, los ojos del verdugo, los ojos del de funcionario público que está cumpliendo un mandado de hacer lo que sabe que no es correcto, que eran los magistrados. Tienen ante la historia la responsabilidad 
de convertirse en los verdugos de la Constitución o en los defensores de la Constitución. Tienen la responsabilidad de enterrar la Constitución o de abrir definitivamente un Estado de Derecho y de Justicia para todos los venezolanos, para que sea el pueblo el que decida. Corroboramos que no es justicia y no, no puede haber justicia donde hay un mandatario que es el que da las instrucciones y el que define los destinos en un país. Quiero aprovechar para brindarle mi apoyo como jefe de Estado y el apoyo del gobierno que presido y el apoyo del pueblo a estos dignos compatriotas que están al frente de las instituciones del Estado. Para Clodosvaldo Rusián, un apoyo especial, porque ahora, ahora, no, pues estamos luchando contra la corrupción. These words prove that this travesty of justice enjoyed President Chavez's full support. Several days later, the Constitutional Chamber, in support of the prohibition, issued a decision in favor of the Comptroller.